for Fight Planet and the MMA Cave. This is Reed Duthie once again, and I'm joined by another one of the most exciting fighters that you'll find anywhere in Canada, Adam Maverick Asenza. Adam, you haven't got a long career resume as of yet, but your fights of the night bonuses have got to be just racking up again and again and again. Every time you come out, you come out to put it on, and you've done that each time you've been able to score fighting series. What does this fight look for already against Tommy Cote? I know there's not a lot out there about him, but what do you see in him coming in? Um, from what I've heard, I see him coming in as a striker and more of a jiu-jitsu guy. Um, I think my style and my skills, when they match up against his, they'll put me out on top. So. Yeah, it does look like a good matchup, especially for people who enjoy striking. And, I mean, for that, you can go back to your last fight, the big win over Taylor Solomon. There were some people that weren't quite sure about how that fight was going to go. Taylor had the size. Taylor had the reach. But you came out and stormed the gates right away. It really was an impressive, as impressive of a display as you're going to find in the striking game. You really wrote a book on how to fight a taller fighter. Tommy Cote is tall. He's lanky. Looks like it's the same sort of style. Yeah, um, the, Taylor, the Taylor Solomon fight uh, with him, I just really had to worry, worry about his, uh, his reach, his length, and uh, I had to throw some stuff that was a little unorthodox to put him out of his game. Tommy Cote, um, I'm expecting a good striker, and I know he is a tall, lanky guy, and he likes to use his reach, so I've got some things in store for him that uh, I'm, I'm going to be using. So. UFC 154 was widely panned for being more of a decision-laden card. When you go to the cage, there's no thought of a decision. It's completely one train knockout. Where does that just iron spirit come from? Where does that come from inside, that fire, to go out and put it all on the line? Um, when I go in the cage, I try to finish fights. I don't try to drag anything out. Uh, a lot of the time, you always have a few opportunities in the fight to do so. So any chance I get, I'm trying to finish the fight. If I hurt him, if I get him in a good position, uh, I just I want to finish the fight. That's my main uh, goal in, in every fight. So that's where it comes from. Adam, I can't remember a fight where the fans haven't been on their feet by the end of it when you've been in the cage. But where does it go from here for you? Let's say you beat Tommy Cote. You're all of a sudden looking way up the ladder. That'd be three in a row. Where do you want to go from there? And is there anybody coming up on the radar? Not necessarily that you're going to call out, but where do you see that next big exciting matchup and the next big one to launch you another step up the ladder? Uh, every fight in my mind is do or die. Like I don't look past any of my opponents. Um, as far as I'm concerned, Tommy Cote is like the first and only and the last fight right now in my mind. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen after uh, I win against him. But uh, all I care about is winning against him. So if if they want to give me whoever they want to give me after, I'm happy with. This is just my main my main focus right now. So. And finally, Adam, we know that your camp in Burlington is really an up-and-coming camp. A lot of young guys there that are training hard, and they're going to start making their debuts with the Score Fighting Series. There's going to be a few more on this card. What about your camp has gotten them to this point? There's so many guys coming along at one time. It's really an influx of talent that you don't see very often. What do you put that on for your camp? Um, yeah, at Bama, we got a lot of good up-and-coming guys. And what people don't know is that just because these guys are making their debuts as pros now, They've been fighting in the amateur ranks for a long period of time, and, and you're going to see some you're going to see some crazy stuff from these guys. These guys are, in my opinion, light years ahead of me, and they do stuff that I haven't really seen anybody else do anywhere else. So I think we've got like a unique group of guys, and we're more of a family there, and we all take care of each other and make sure that we're all prepared for anything that we're getting ourselves into. So I'm really excited for those guys to uh, make their debuts, and there's going to be a lot more coming out of there. So. The Bama camp is one to keep their eye on. So is Adam the Maverick Asenza. He is one of the most exciting fighters to come out of Ontario in quite some time. He's going to continue to rise the ranks. And Tommy Cote is going to be in for the fight of his life at the Score of Fighting Series. Adam, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much.